I'm sorry McLaren fans, but enough is enough now. I think it is time that we call a spade a spade, and just say that Lando Norris needs to leave McLaren if he wants to maximize his potential, and actually compete at the front. Lando has been at McLaren since he joined F1 in 2019, and since then, he has only achieved six podiums, one pole position, five fastest laps, and no race wins in the span of 88 race starts. This season, the McLaren has been an absolute dog of a car, struggling to get into the points, despite having arguably one of the strongest driver lineups on the grid. Norris's problem is that he has signed long-term to McLaren, given that he extended his contract with the team in 2022, meaning that it'll run out in 2025 which is a relatively long way away, and should see him stick with the team just before the new regulation changes in 2026. However, if you've been watching F1 for a while, you'd know that contracts don't necessarily mean anything as they can be bought out, and this was demonstrated with Lando's ex-teammate in Ricciardo, as McLaren paid around $21 million to buy out his seat, and to replace him with the rookie of Oscar Piastri. But even if we were to assume that a competitive team who are willing to bring in Norris pay out his contract and bring him to their team, the issue is that what team exactly would that be? Mercedes now appear to have both Russell and Hamilton secured for at least 2025, as both drivers are close to extending their current contracts. Ferrari is just a walking mess right now, and wouldn't be much of an upgrade on McLaren. Aston Martin could be a potential destination for the Brit, but the possibility of that happening is relatively low, considering that Alonso doesn't want to go anywhere anytime soon, and Lance Stroll essentially has an unlimited contract. Therefore, the only feasible teams that Lando could potentially go to is Red Bull, or Alfa Romeo which is soon to become Audi for the 2026 regulations. Given Perez's poor form recently, there is growing speculation as to whether he will even be at the team next season, but I can't see Checo losing his seat considering that Red Bull have a good dynamic of a clear number one and two driver, similar to what Ferrari had with Schumacher and Barrichello, and what Mercedes had with Hamilton and Botas. We must not forget that Checo does have two race wins this season, and if we are to assume that Lando is clear of Checo in regards to performance, Red Bull signing Norris could disrupt the dynamic of the team which could see an inter-team battle between Verstappen and Norris which I'm sure Christian Horner and Helmut Marko do not want. Therefore, the most logical destination for Lando Norris to make is to follow in the footsteps of his previous team principal, and make the move at Alfa Romeo, as they'll soon become Audi. Who knows, potentially history could repeat itself, where you have the young Brit leave McLaren, and take a risk with a German manufacturer just before the new regulations set in, to then go on and reap the rewards and dominate for years to come. But at the end of the day, regardless of where Norris goes, I think we can all agree that McLaren is not the team that'll take him to the very top, and it is time that he evaluates his options if he wants to win a championship, let alone a race win in the next few seasons. Comment down below where you think Norris go, or whether he'll just decide to stick with McLaren for the long term.